excited to be here at Goodwood Festival of Speed. Excited because it's Goodwood, because it's sunny, because there's some fantastic cars, but also because we've got one really special Citroen with us here. And it's a car that hasn't been seen in the UK in a long time. As a matter of fact, it's been more than 10 years that nobody has seen this car. This is a Citroen C4 WRC car, World Rally Championship car, and not just any C4 WRC car. This is Sebastian Loeb's C4 WRC, the car that he drove to a World Championship win. In this actual car, the car that you see here, he won four rounds of the World Rally Championship. First one, Monte Carlo, the most prestigious round, the one that everyone wants to win. He was on the podium, first place with this car. Then onto Italy, where he won again in Sardinia. Third win with this car was Rally Deutschland. You can see the livery on it is exactly as it was. And then one that is close to everyone's heart, Wales Rally GB. And that was the win that clinched the World Championship title for him in the Citroen WRC car. And it's great to have it here. Everyone's been admiring it. One of the things that makes this car particularly special, yes, Sebastian Loeb, yes, the four wins, yes, the World Championship, but also that livery. It is such an iconic livery. This Red Bull livery is gonna go down in history as one of the most iconic motorsport liveries that we've seen. It's gonna be on par with Martini or with the Marlboro. Those are the motorsport liveries that we love to see and Red Bull is right up there. Now, it wasn't easy to get the car here. It wasn't just like this and it, and it just arrived. We had to track a C4 down, which is very, very rare. We then had to find one with really good history, managed to get a bought, and it was a big, big job. A lot of research went into getting the period pictures and returning it exactly as it was in Rally Deutschland. With the Red Bull livery, with the right colors, with the right numbers on it, it was a huge, huge job. Now, after Sebastian Loeb drove it, it's not over for this car. It kept on racing with Citroen and Kimi Raikkonen, yep, Formula One world champion with Ferrari. If you remember, he took a, a short spell into the World Rally Championship and Kimi actually drove this C4 WRC. So not only driven by a rally world champion, but also a Formula One world champion. Now you talk about history. But enough of the stories of this car. Why don't you uh, come and see what it's like to drive and let me talk you through some of the buttons and the uh, interior of the car. So here we are sitting inside the Citroen C4 World Rally Championship car and it's actually quite simple. It was a time in World Rally where it was a side of the driver didn't need very much information in front of him. So what do I have in front of me? I've got the steering wheel obviously. I've got some knobs to, to adjust my accelerator pedal, my differential, lights and um, launch control and no rev counter in front of me. I've just got an indicator of what gear I'm in and some shift lights. Apart from that, Everything else is right here in the center panel with all my switches to start the car, to put on the anti-lag and a screen for the uh, navigator so that he can keep an eye on temperatures, brake temperatures, water temperatures, oil, keep an eye on the good function of the car. And of course, my favorite, 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 favorite <laughs> lever of them all right here on my right is the handbrake. Now that always gives everyone a smile when you pull a handbrake and, uh, and slide around a corner. What's it like to drive? Well. It's a great experience. It's very noisy. You're sitting very, very low and sitting very far back. It's quite difficult to see where the end of the car is. So I really do admire the World Rally drivers and how precise they were with these, uh, with these cars. For sure, when you have anti-lag on, you've got your accelerator pedal on maximum performance. It really, really does go. And that crack that you get when you pull the paddle, so you pull the paddle to go up the gears and push to go down, but when you're going through the gears and you hear that bang, bang, turbo cuts out, the gears go up, it is absolutely thrilling. It feels like it just wants to go. It's a very precise car. Of course, the four-wheel drive system always helping you. The center differential, making sure that the uh, power is going to the right wheel, but it feels fast and it feels like a real racing car. There's no mistake here. This is an all out racer and it's an amazing experience with the noise with the popping the banging the brake pedal being so firm left foot braking here with uh, with this car because you'll see the very large pedal for, uh, for for braking accelerator on the right foot it is absolutely thrilling fast low and a great noise Well, that was the Citroen C4 WRC car, and there's one more question that everyone asks. It's 
what's it like to enter a car at Goodwill? Well, it's fantastic. The driving up the hill, the spectators, the atmosphere, but there's something really special. Let me tell you what happened to me just earlier today. I drove the C4 up the hill, Sebastian Loeb's car. I go out to lunch in the driver's club, and who is sitting right behind me? None other than Sebastian Loeb. And I can tell you one thing, that only happens at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Nowhere else can you drive the car and then meet the man, your idol, the guy that you always wanted to see at lunch just sitting behind you.